Welcome to the Photo Splash FX Help Tutorial. This easy to use app is made by Masterminds to bring out the beauty of all pictures using a plethora of creative controls. There are many apps out there that allow you to do this already, but Photo Splash FX has features and benefits that are unique among image editors available for iPhones and iPads. Most existing image editors have several critical limitations for people who love photography. I will explain these limitations during the small demo. Upon entering this app, you are required to load an image. You are given the option to take a picture right then, load an image previously saved in the library, or load the last image saved on pasteboard. Let's use the pasteboard option. After you load an image, two columns labeled photo and splash appear. Note that, unlike other photo editing apps, you are given the option to choose any of the 40 built-in effects available. It does not automatically choose gray for photo and original for splash. Next to the load button, there's a pan slash zoom button. This allows you to zoom in and out of an image along with moving to different areas of the image. To apply the splash effects, simply start painting using your index finger. If you make a mistake, you can always click the photo button. This allows you to place the photo effects originally chosen back onto the image. In order to create a masterpiece, a circle and square option for the brush is available under the brush button. Also, there's a soft and hard option. Lastly, you may choose the size of your brush. A small size allows you to get into tiny parts of an image and a large size allows you to save time. One of the most unique features available in this app is revealed upon tapping the color button. The splash column originally seen appears again. You may choose the splash effects for different parts of the image. You may change the splash effect as many times as you would like during your transformation process. If you do not like any of the preloaded effects, you can tap the colorize button. Upon tapping, you can choose any color that you like to paint your image. The pan slash zoom button, photo or splash, brush, and undo button also appear to help you with this process. Let's explore another cool feature of Photo Splash FX. Let's suppose you want to apply some effects to a black and white image. With other photo editing apps, you are stuck. With Photo Splash FX, you don't have such limitations. The Tintalize button is here to help you. It is very much similar to the colorized option and is used the same way also. In any time of your coloring, you can tap the undo button. With this option, you can create multiple undos until you like your image. If you really don't like what you have created, you can tap the reset button. This will bring you back to the beginning. But if you do like what you have created, you can click the save and share button. With this option, you can save the image to your library if you have completed it, or the pasteboard if you'd like to come back and finish. You can also email this image to a friend or family member, or even better, upload it to Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, or Picasso for everyone to see. Now you can start creating wonderful artwork. Thank you for listening. Your comments are always welcome at masterminds2011 at ymail.com and help further versions be successful.